All right, we got Love. He's ready to go. And then we got Fly Fishing looking like he's ready to go. Yep, indeed. To those of you who may be listening and are uh, should be check checking in right now, please do. Ready? All right, but then. To those of you who are watching with bated breath. Incineroar and Rob. Alright, we got Fly Fish and Rick versus Love here, and we got an Incineroar and a Rob, so let's go and see what's gonna happen. Starting on Smashville, very tiny stage, and if uh, Incineroar goes off stage, it's not a fun time, but already doing 37 with literally one revenge. Yeah, um, this is one of those matchups that's very dependent on um, the Rob's ability to get uh, the Incineroar on stage, because if Incineroar can hold center stage, get revenge and just throw out a bunch of hitboxes, that's good for the Incineroar. But if Flyfish and Rick can uh, get the Incineroar off stage, it's, it's basically Rob's game. Yeah, I mean, the things you have to be careful with is the gyro and the, and the blaster and all that stuff. That's exactly what I was thinking. Get revenge on that, and yeah, it's a scary time. So, as it is, I mean, this is still even. That's going to hit hard, and Rob is a heavy boy, but that gyro can actually be the downfall here. That did so much shield damage. Oh my god. That's it. Uh, Red is speechless. Uh, sorry, mod request. He's still speechless. <laughs> that was uh that was a great revenge out of the out of the burrow there. And yeah, Love is kind of walking away right now, getting a ton of damage on Fly Vision. Oh man, and there goes yeah. the spike. That is going to take it. Bad, bad re-grab there. But here we are. I mean, still, uh, Love's doing a great job here. But again, Flyfish is definitely not out of this by any means. He knows what he's doing here with this Rob. Just got to be careful of Incineroar with those revenges. Those tops are proving to be uh, hurting him rather than helping. Yeah, absolutely. It's just this is one of those matchups that's just, that's just, as I said before, it's really central to the And you can see that, uh, you can see that the Incineroar is just staying uh, towards the center. At all costs. You like, want to go off stage because, would you? This matchup no, I mean, this Rob Rob will murder you off stage. He's got one of the best edge guards. Yeah. And here we go. Not going to get the side B or the back air. Oh my gosh. You and know, Love I going really for, a, for a trump there, actually. I really appreciate that Love is going for a lot of revenges here because Rob is a very heavy uh, a metal boy. Apparently not heavy enough to, to not die to up throw. That right. up throw of that percent so was Rob's actually a very heavy surprised boy. on how early that goes. Very easy to kill Oh yeah, this is... This is good, but again, match is still really close here, so. But yeah, that top is, is proven to be more of an issue than than a, an advantage here, and that's going to hurt. God. Go from like 18 to 65. Oh yeah, it does 54% with one revenge. You know what I call that? Shenanigans. Dumb. Oh, that's going to hurt. I call that dumb. Oh man, he had the top and everything. I was expecting a bit stronger of an edge guard coming out there, but instead going to get comboed here. Yeah, it is not looking good for Flyfish and Rick. It just, I think it's just one of those things where matchup and experience in this case does a lot of damage. As a Rob player, you tend to have a way to use Gyro, a way to be you that you uh, handle being off stage and stuff like that. And in Cinnabar, it's just a very different character to oh. play against, where if you don't understand the matchup, you're not going to be it. Yeah, as it is, though, we know that this can still go either way. Rob has some crazy uh, crazy gyro combos that will pull you to the side, and then the Rob Rotor. But we got revenge on this, and Love is Love's looking pretty intense right now. God, that forward tilt would have killed. One really good hit away from taking this game. But oh, there it is in the head. That does not mean that Rob is out of it yet. Rob no, another another 30, 40 percent, and, and yeah, this this could go. Oh, oh man, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Do this because now Incineroar is off stage, and it would have been up to Rob to try and edge guard him. Oh my gosh! Oh, and unfortunately, it tries to snap. 
fell off and then just did not grab the ledge. He tried to jump, but wasn't going to do it. So actually, Fly, Fish, and Rick here are going to take game one. Very, I mean, definitely counted his stars there. But Love's got the counter pick now. So let's see what happens. Yeah, what an, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say it. What an unfortunate loss for Love. Uh, I, like, I'd rather him lose to a smash attack or actually something like that than just to slide off the stage from a side B and then, and then SD. Unfortunate. But hey, live and learn, or die and learn, as they say. So, we'll see what happens. Yep, and we are uh, very quickly approaching the DQs of round one right now. Uh, Alright, actually, as I say, it appears that it's updated. We've got some people who are going um, now, and I have to look for a yep. mod request. And we got some people coming in here and whatnot. So, yeah, overall, DQs have officially gone off from round one, and round two is now moving here. So... Remember, guys, check into your matches and punch each other in the face. As always, guys, thank you for coming into the jet stream here tonight. Definitely, definitely good, clean 64-person bracket here. And as always, we will be backing up these VODs on YouTube. And we'll get the top eight graphic out tomorrow. So we do this every week, and we're consistent as hell. So... Be sure to give us a follow on YouTube. Really will appreciate it. We're we're slowly growing as we've been going. Alright, getting into game two here. Let's see what happens. Here we are on PS2. This is Love's counterpick. A little surprised he's going to opt for a big stage like this, but right out of the gate, again, doing a lot of damage with these revenges. The top has proven to really get revenge out, and then this is two hits. He's done two hits, and Flyfish is at 75. So, yeah, there's... It definitely hits hard. <laughs> but, like this, Rob is finding his way back. He can't grab someone who can grab for a bit. Oh, my gosh. He actually goes down on the stage there. That, that was, I was not expecting, I'll admit. Yeah, this is a very, this is a very, very strange, unusual. Strange yeah, I think unusual is a pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, because like, Rob, Rob wins this, assuming he doesn't get hit. But, hey, Zinera finds a way in and hits you with revenge. It's, it's gonna hurt like a truck. As it is, though. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he goes through the top there. Yeah, kind of gets different, uh, and there we are, though. I mean, stocks are even now, and this this game, uh, just the whole entire set, it can the pendulum swings very hard. But that top again, like fly fishing's got to not put this top out because it's just making it stronger. Yeah, it's just it's like the equivalent of like of like, haha, I'm gonna throw this small rock at the giant. It's like, no, stop, you're just pissing him off. Yeah, don't don't piss the giant off. You don't wanna do that. <laughs> and there it is, I that forward air not gonna kill yet. No, not yet, but I think fly fishing is just looking for some basic things that you can normally get against. God, how many grabs have you just seen there? Not like four grabs in a row there. Unfortunate though. And neutral air actually gonna kill. Um, that did not spark, so a little surprise there. Uh oh, he's on his platform. Did not get the tech chase, but the up air is gonna do damage. And you've seen here, fly fishing is just kind of going for aggressive options. Their first options just to try to push. Uh, love out of here, but Love's not having any of it. Alright, gonna get the burrow into up smash. Tries to, I thought that was either revenge or he tried to do something else. Not gonna get it this time. But again, the top is there. It's just, it's so much hurting. Like, don't, don't get in Cinderella's, please. Almost getting that forward smash that would have hit like a truck. And he's on stage two revenge right now. Oh, if he held the shield there, it would have been alright. 
And that is gonna hit hard. That just did 50. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. And... Okay, is... I was not going to say I'm assuming up air will kill. No, no, up air, up air will kill there. And like that, we got a 1-1 one, one on our first game here. Good stuff. So, do you think... I, I think these guys are going to stay here. I, again, I think the counter pick is going to be the thing. I'm surprised PS2 worked as well as it did for Love. But we'll, we'll see what happens here. I mean, this has been this has been an interesting set nonetheless. Yeah, this has been a very interesting set, and uh, I think it's a. Uh... It's spelled YouTube. I wrong. know. Shut up, <laughs> dude. I am. I. How many times have I misspelled things? A lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty often. Now. It's it's. Some of it's finger slips. Some of it's just me being a moron. Ugh. <laughs> In any case, if you guys haven't done so, please give us a follow, uh, subscription on YouTube. We back up all of these videos. I think we have close to like 500 videos now from the 20 plus, 30 plus events we've backed up now. So there, there, you'll definitely find something for you there. Yes, if you like watching Smash, or if you like hearing us for some reason, uh, you can do both of those things. Yes, you too can hear Robot Red and Jet. <laughs> on those videos. Sometimes Goldeneye. <laughs> Sometimes Goldeneye. <laughs> Indeed. And if you get super lucky, you might get Dank Polo. Yeah, Dank Polo is amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's real fun to work with. He's honestly. hysterical. Alright, let's see what is up with these two. Alright. They're picking a stage now. Okay. Meanwhile, as this is still going on, we are still we are seeing uh, round two matches begin to start, and we're seeing a few of the losers matches uh, begin to be called. Um, those should be going to, to to automatic disqualification right about now. Rather shortly on some of these DQ round ones, round one losers are indeed getting to their DQ points. So here we are right now. Times are moving here, and. Yeah, this is this is a good first game here. I think they're just figuring out where they want to go, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, looking at our stage two here, we got some people that uh, that could be pretty pretty good hitters here. Braga gonna take it a two one over Moose, and he's gonna go fight JNAP. and then Bedgar is up one against Not Gerald, and winner of that is gonna fight Johnny Law. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Telestra, check into your match before I yell at you. <laughs> he checked into round one. He checked into round one, and he hasn't checked into round two. So, yeah. Yeah, now we've got a real game to play. Now, 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 now we have the right to yell at you. <laughs> Craig reminding me about drinking water. Yes, if you don't remember the last time you drank water, go drink some, because that that means you didn't drink water recently. <laughs> Alright, looks like these two are ready to go to round to game three here. Well, let's see what happens. Getting the banjo switch off the Incineroar. We've seen this matchup quite a bit, actually. Banjo versus Rob, and it, Banjo's kits work surprisingly well against Rob. Um... There is one thing though that if Banjo hits the gyro, that while he's doing um, Wonder Wing, it just completely stops him in his tracks, and then Rob can shield for free. So yeah, 
and Bloomy in the chat here. If you haven't joined the Treehouse, come on in. Make sure you roll yourself so this way you can get access to the rest of the server. We have a pretty active server. We get matchmaking every single time. As it is right now, we got pretty even percents here, but those Wonder Wings hit very hard, and Banjo is doing rather well with those. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm a little surprised that Love actually switched from uh, Instant War to Banjo, but I guess if you're if it's like a comfort thing to have, you're going to take it. It seems to be doing him uh, pretty well so right now. Yeah, I mean, we also see, like, like, not that Incineroar was bad by any means, but, I mean, Banjo might be the character that he plays much more. We have no idea about these players. But, here we are right now. Percents are pretty even. That Rob Roder is going to get forward smashed. That forward smash is surprisingly good. I mean, it, it's it's quick enough, and it kills early enough. So, not something you get in every forward smash. I, I think what we're seeing a lot of as well is fly fishing specifically uh, Robin love of these uh, very close to the chest uh, uh, Wonder Wings. Oh, but that one's going to hit hard. doing no favors to love, honestly. He's out of Wonder Wings now. And that up air is going to take it. We got 40%, 39% on fly fishing. Immediate Wonder Wing to 67%. Everyone's got their own way of playing. Some people like to play banjo, but put inside their hey, hey, if, if you hit all hurt. if you hit all those side beats, they're taking anywhere between 60 and 100 100 plus percent. So, yeah, it's uh it's a good move. Yeah, and quite frankly, either it hits or it doesn't, but if God. you get down like that after getting the spot dog red like it's nothing. I, I, there's only so much help to give, you know? I mean, dude, there was... I, I I saw, like, four grabs in a row. I don't know if that's misinputs, but we saw that in the last game against uh, with Fly Fishing here. It seems like he's kind of struggling here, and here's the scary thing with Banjo is that he's got a whole nother stock with a whole nother set of Wonder Wings. Rob oh, yeah, is officially... He's got, he's got six Wonder Wings left. Now five. he's got five Wonder Wings left, but we know very obviously that this Banjo can kill without Wonder Wings. He killed with Down Smash from the floor. And Forward so Smash the first time, yeah. To a point of, can he get in? Probably gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna be down for this. Yeah, but he was trying to get the pummel. I, I, I think he didn't need the pummel five times, or didn't think he was gonna mash out. Here we are, though. I mean, Flyfish has got a lot of work to do here. Side B's gonna get punished. Down smash gonna come in. If I was love, I would just if Flyfish is gonna be going up and he's gonna be going up high, I would just go up and play like, up and. You're at a percent where it, where it might kill. Yeah, and here we are, though, going to reflect the grenade. Gets him out of the Rob Rotor, and uh-oh, he's dead. Yeah. Now smash, is. very fast option coming out there. At those percents, you're not going to match out of that. And like that, we got Capital V Love taking it a 2-1. Yeah, and with a with a very exciting set, too. Very They, uh, they, uh, they both took their time with each game with the game three honestly a great set to start with yep so love good luck with the rest of the bracket and we'll see how far you go